Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm, uh, I'm continuing on with um, uh, getting this uh, uh, aileron area, area kind of settled in. And I must admit, he, he, I'll offer something to you here. Um, I, when I first, well, when you do the first wing, you know, I have to look at the plans and study it a bit um, and kind of work through it. There's a danger when you get to the second one because you know what to do. And the danger is because you know what to do, you don't have to think about it as much and you might move ahead of yourself a little bit, which I've, I've actually done here. And uh, I, I was able to make it work without any problem. I put my root and tip rib on before I put this aileron web in. And uh, I didn't do this on, I didn't film this session, but it was a trick to make this happen. So. In case this happens to you, I will show you how I was actually able to solve this. So um, let me grab the camera here. Uh, what I did was I had to I had to remove a little bit of this piece. And it's got the web on the back side. Um, so it's really not uh, it's really not a big deal. But I had to remove some of that, and you can also see I removed a little too much of this. Uh, which is really not a, it's not a problem, but, uh, and then I had to slide, I had to sort of tw put these in and, and just twist them a little bit so I could get it, so I could get it in there. But Hey, um, I worked through it. It all worked out fine. And, uh, so that's no, uh, that's no problem. The, uh, step I'm at now, um, well, there's one more thing that I wish I would have done too as well is I actually went ahead and put these triangle gussets on here. Um, it would have been better if I could drop in these diagonals before I put this on. Um, but uh, same deal. I'll be able to just flex those a little bit and get them in without any problem. I sort of already ran a test to make sure I could do that. Um, <clears throat> I've got my rough sizes of this uh, RS5 cut here. Um, all right, so all, all I have to do now is uh, I've, I've cut all, I've pre-cut all these. I took my longest length, I measured all those, took the longest one, and uh, and this one's a little bit longer out toward the tip. And so they're all a little bit oversized. So all I gotta do is come in here, mark these, um, and uh, sand, them, sand them down a little bit and get them to fit in here and i'll get all of them i'll get all of them sized and just put in place and then i'll be able to i'll be able to come back get those epoxied in and then uh and we'll be able to hop uh we'll be able to hop to the next step for sure after that so Same. It's the second one of these. All right. All right. So just like before, I've got my. Uh, I'm all set up over here, and I just have a block of wood squared up to the uh, sanding disc. So all I have to do is run this, run this in here, and I can, uh, I can sand it real quickly. Come over here, test the fit, and then I can go back if I need to, sand a little more um, over here. And I just, you know, can roll my uh, sander along with me, make pretty quick work of this, um, which is cool. Um, and then uh, and we'll get some epoxy mixed up, which is, you know, my favorite part. So, all right.
All right, so the next step is to get my uh, get my clamps laid out, uh, figure out how many I need. And I'm gonna have to do this in two stages. I'll have to do the top uh, first. I don't think I have enough clamps to do both, so I'll, uh, I'll do the top. And uh, it's weird, I'm hearing myself inside my own head here, but uh, I will, uh, yeah, it just helps to lay these out ahead of time. So when you're putting the epoxy on, they're ready to go. So I'll get, uh, I'll get the clamps ready and uh, get some epoxy mixed up. All right, so I forgot the technique that I used last time. Um, I can't believe I forgot it because it made everything so much easier. But I did, but I uh, remembered it as I was putting this one on. Um, and that is, after I get the glue on here, um, what I'm doing is I'm just taking a piece of plywood I'm clamping it to the rib um, in both locations, and then when I take my then when I take my piece and I put it on here, all I have to do is slide it up against the plywood, and then uh, and then grab a clamp, and then I can start clamping it in place, and then I know that I am flush with the top of uh, top of the ribs, and then I'll just move them over. Um. All right, so I got that all taken care of, and uh, that uh, actually worked out pretty good. I'm so glad that I remembered uh, my technique from before using those little pieces of plywood. Man, that makes everything go so much faster, and and then you don't have to worry about, you know, are you flush with the top of the rib or not. Um, just by eyeballing it, it actually works out where you know you are because you're pushing it up against that up against that plywood. So. So I've got all of the uh, all of the ones on the top of the wing in place here, which is great. And uh, and now um, after that epoxy sets, then I can go back and put the ones on the bottom, and then I can start. Uh, and be before I do that, I may actually go ahead and put the uh, diagonals that are on the top on the top side because I can I can act easily slide by here at the moment um, then I won't have to flex those uh, to get them in and I wish I would have remembered to leave these off but that's okay I can I can deal with it so it uh, it actually it actually doesn't work out that bad because uh, you know as an example if this was a top one you know it uh, Fit, still fits in here nicely, so it'll just be figuring out um, the exact uh, exact length, and then uh, putting that in. Yeah, it'll work fine. Um, so, uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me, checking out the video. Uh, as you know, I uh, do appreciate it. And um, those of you who have recently found me and you're building, I'm so glad that uh, to have you on board and. Um, I'm glad that um, 
watching me piece this together, um, that you get a feel for how this goes and uh, that I might prevent you from um, making some mistakes that I might make along the way. Uh, most of all, it gives you a really good idea of the sequence of things, which I think is probably most important. You know, an overall understanding of how this goes together speeds everything up. So, um, yeah, so um, as always, hey, I'll catch you later. <laughs>